Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So in this session, uh, session we uh, uh, discuss topic for consumer credit. Okay. So uh, this is tutorial for part B, question two, uh, consumer credit, uh, December two thousand nineteen. Alright. So let we start with the first. Uh, we can see the question. Alright. Uh, so you will see that the question it requests you to form uh, compute average daily balance, interest charge, total outstanding balance, minimum payment, outstanding balance or minimum payment. Okay, in this question from first paragraph uh, towards the end is very important uh, message that uh, in order you to answer this uh, consumer credit uh, question. Okay, let me start first. Okay. Before you start, you need to have a step-by-step -step to prepare, okay? What you need to identify the important information, see? You need to know a start of by, by a billing cycle, okay? Uh, so, when you billing cycle, meaning that what is the start billing cycle for the credit card? So, it's a 16 uh, March 2019, where I can just start. See, in the green, this one, start of billing cycle, 16 March 2019. So, you extract. End of billing cycle. So, I put question mark because we don't even see any uh, any date. that They have many dates here but it's not referring to end of billing date. Alright, so I put a question mark. Outstanding balance, 85 Zero eight four five zero. Okay, outstanding balance. Where are they get in the third paragraph? You say that outstanding balance. What is outstanding balance? The credit card outstanding balance means that from previous month. Okay, interest charge is eighty percent per annum. See, you need to be careful because in this question you will see that I will show you that we are not doing annum uh, per year, but we are actually doing monthly transaction. And then minimum payment is 5%. Where I got this one is at the last paragraph. Assume interest charge is 80% per annum and it's unpaid balance and minimum required percent is 5%. Okay. Uh, I would like you to see the the timeline here. Okay. Uh, you see that 16 March uh, 2019 is start date or billing cycle. All right. So, in this question, actually, is a month cycle, alright? It take a month cycle. So, one month cycle. So, the ending date should be 15 April 2019. See? Because the next 16 is start the billing cycle. So, you can see if here is already 15. So, if let's say next cycle will be start. Okay, 16.4 and then it will be N at 5. Alright, but in this question, it will start 3 and finish at 4. Alright, alright. So now you can see what is the very important in terms of date here. Okay, later on we can see. And then the step 2, you need to compute a table average daily balance. Okay. When you want to start to answer this question, average daily balance, interest charge, total outstanding balance, minimum payment, you need to have to have this table. Okay, so this is format of the table. So again, this is my suggestion. Uh, you the books is I have a four column, but I have a five column. Uh, it's easy to calculate. All right, this is in the step two. In the step three, uh, we are calculate. Uh, the request by the question. Alright. Uh, okay. Let me go for step by step. Alright. Uh, first paragraph. Uh, Adam bought camera 3,600 3, ringgit on Fort March. See, everything on credit card will be uh, important for the date. Okay. So, you need to have a highlight the information. Okay. But it's sell easy payment plan, meaning that uh, Adam will not pay three thousand six hundred ringgit, but it's tribute to twelve month. 
So the first payment had been affected at the purchase date. So first March he's already paid a certain certain amount, and then the start date is every four executive month. Is let's say that four March will be in a four April. So four April in within a month cycle here. Okay, this one within the one month cycle. It should be. Here, alright. So we need to take a consideration for the month, a one month payment for this camera. Okay, on six March, Adam received from Equamen Bank credit card. So he said that have a refund. So refund meaning that uh the money come in to your credit card. Credit card is a loan facility, a short term loan facility. It's very flexible. So what? Whatever that have refund being to you, so it be credit, it will be debited to your, uh, your account. All right. So they said that it's a wrong transaction in February two thousand nineteen, and refund will be credited to his account on thirty first March. See, again, is talk about date. It's very important. Thirty first March is around, somewhere around here. Okay. So one hundred eighty is. Money inflow, okay. This one is outflow, okay. All right. Are uh, using inflow and outflow is easier to you to use spend and uh saving is really like this one is inflow, okay, because it's money come to your credit card account, and then this one is come uh is you spend so it will minus from your account. All right. So if this is transaction March seventeen um. Uh, so twenty seven, twenty one, twenty, okay, twenty third April one, April four. We have April four, and we have a uh, thirty first March here. Before this, we have a uh, refund, and also, uh, the transaction. You can see they have uh April one. They have two. Uh, first April they have, uh, two transaction, and that is Visa credit payment, meaning that Adam pay two thousand five hundred. Okay. Uh, so this is in this video. I will show you uh the step that should be taken. All right, should be uh consider before you answer a consumer credit question. So in the next video, I will show you how to record the uh the. Uh, transaction. So I hope that you have a question with you, so you can follow me in the second video, so we, I can read item by item. Alright. Uh, so we will we'll, uh continue in the next video. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi